Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. Today it is time to have a look at some news items which have come out today and also some previous days, some change logs and also some new stuff. The first thing is the Russian Aerospace Forces Day. Now this is an event which is running from the 12th of August uh, to the 13th of August, so it's pretty much happening for a day. And what you have to do is you have to win three battles whilst controlling Soviet aircraft from rank 3 or above with an in-game activity of 60% or higher. You get the unique emblem of the Russian Air Forces that you can see right here. So you can tie this into doing the uh, Operation Summer event if you want. You can probably do this in Air Arcade, Air Realistic, you could do it in Ground Realistic as well, as long as you finish in a plane. That's generally how these things work, and you can get yourself this nice little decal on top of everything. It is really nice that we are getting more and more of these little events over a few days period where they give a little bit of a prize, uh, but the main thing is just to get, you know, some unique stuff out of it and also just some kind of challenge to work towards. In War Thunder in general, it does a pretty good, um, a pretty good job at doing challenges, whether it's stuff like Operation Summer, Operation Thro Frost, uh, you know, the War Bond stuff or Authentic Decals. There always seems to be something where you can give it a go. Uh, so yeah, it's just nice to see some more stuff on top of that. The next thing was an update on the 4th, and this was 1.99.1.67, and this seemed to fix a lot of the sound issues that were happening before. Generally, what was going on when it came to the game is, at least for me, a lot of the sounds uh, started sounding very similar, and this was due to the fact that seemed like anything that landed near you or anything that went over you had this whistling sound on it. And the basic issue of this was the fact that everything started to just cramp the sound space. Sometimes having something which is incredibly realistic um, can be very good, but in other times it struggles uh, because of the fact that it, um, it covers all of the other sounds at the same time. And that's basically what that whistling sound was doing. So the whistle from nearby cannon shells currently has low playback probability. We continue to improve this effect, and in future updates, the sound of a passing shell will work more accurately and realistically. Uh, as I said, uh, it will be nice to see them rework it. The main issue, though, was the fact that it was taking over every other sound in the game. Um, it was the fact that everything was uh, t playing second fiddle to this sound. The sound of low caliber bullets passing at close range is now quieter, once again lowering the whistling sound. The whistle before the explosion of an artillery shell strike has now, now has a probability of playback, but it will be, not be played every time, thank god. Because if, let's say, somebody drops like one or two or three artillery strikes on your head, it's literally the only thing you can hear for about a minute, and it just, it, it, it reminds me of the World War Mode thing, where they decided that it was either the reload or the shots of uh, AA machines could be heard across the map, so you just heard a constant bang, 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 and it just drones on you, and that was exactly what was happening with the artillery, because of the fact that it was so concentrated around you, that's all you heard for a certain period of time, and if I'm honest with you, it hurt your ears. Taking into account player feedback, the following changes have been made. The volume of enemy allied aircraft engines has been lowered. Generally, I didn't see this as a problem, apart from stuff like the Wyvern, which were incredibly loud. The volume of the enemy allied ground vehicles, as well as the sound from the player's ground vehicles, have been increased, so therefore you'll be able to hear engines a lot better, and you'll be able to... Uh, you know, plan your next moves better. The volume of 80 gems and rocket volleys have been lowered. I think this is good as well. Um, one of the uh, changes to the sound design is the fact that with stuff like 80 gems and rocket volleys, you could hear them from miles away. And because of the fact that you could hear them from so far away, it was hard to work out where they were coming from and where they were going to. Uh, so, now that they are a little bit more precise, this is definitely better for working out what's going on around you. The sound of the Ju-87 Stuka siren at long and short range has been changed. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure I like the change, but then again, you don't really hear it too much. I need, I've only heard it a few times, and at the moment it seems to pop in and pop out, um, at least for me. But uh, I haven't done any extensive listening to it, so we'll see what happens in the future. 
A bug has been fixed where active air defense sounded like 80 gems when firing. Yeah, this was kind of funny. <laughs> so um, if you fired off a bunch of flares off a helicopter or something like that, it just sounded like uh, there was just a ton of missiles just being fired everywhere. Uh, so thank God uh, they fixed that. And the fact it was a bug as well uh, shows that, you know, uh, it's not like the first part where they're reworking it. It's just straight, you know, fixed. The sound of an allied enemy machine guns dependent on distance uh, from them has been adjusted. Now the distance is more noticeable with the ear. Good stuff. So uh, once again, better sounds equals more information equals better game. The sound of explosions, depending on distance from them, and increasing has been adjusted. Now the distance is more noticeable by ear. Good stuff. Then we have a bunch of ground vehicle model, damage model characteristic, and weaponry changes as well. A battle speed mode for ground vehicles with gun stabilization through a shoulder rest. Uh, those stabilization limits are in the area of the first stage of the cruise control has been implemented. The changes affect these following vehicles. So basically a bunch of lower tier vehicles, British, Japanese, and also French, and some German stuff as well. This is similar to the battle mode that stuff like certain ATGM carriers get, such as the Bradley where at that mode you're seen as the most combat effective so with the bradley you know it's uh, to keep your ac gems out while moving for these guys it's to keep your main gun stabilization going uh, through the shoulder rest uh, stabilization so this uh, just makes it so there's an extra option for people uh, so they don't have to keep like w and sing or whatever you know uh, whatever control you use to move yourself um, and you know your guns wobbling all over the place now you can have much more of a standard feel uh, which is good that's what we should be looking for and then we have some aircraft damage model and weapon improvements so the images of suspended weaponry have been changed for the following aircraft corresponding to weaponry names basically the mi-24s the mi-28s the h1s and also the kisarazu and then the position of the elements in the menu of the suspended weaponry have been corrected for the following vehicles so the martin 167 the leo 451 early late and also the pb4y2 so just once again fixing a bit of information making everything a little bit nicer then we had another server update this was on the 11th of the 8th and they fixed a bunch of stuff once again so the parameters relating to the resistance of an aircraft's materials so clouding and powertrain to secondary shell fragments have been fixed previously aircraft and helicopters had an inflated survivability when they were under fire from anti-aircraft shells with remote detonators um, this was shown if you ever use something like the sergeant york or the sergeant bjork uh, what would happen is generally they would take like three or four or five hits and then they just wouldn't die and generally uh, that really shouldn't be happening especially with a lot of the uh, vehicles which don't have a lot of armor on them this was also shown a lot in stuff such as naval forces for the longest time uh, i remember using stuff like the udachi or stuff like other japanese things running hedf on the secondaries and planes just not dying uh, just staying alive for extended periods of time and even a lot of the time the hedf shell just doing absolutely nothing because it just missed so hopefully that is fixed the sound thing so the sound characteristics of the guns on the ground vehicles have been corrected uh, i suppose that's nice a lot of them sound very similar to each other the volume level of the player's aircraft engines has been slightly raised that's good because now you can tell where they're coming from and you don't just get bombed out of nowhere um, a bug has been fixed where the start and stop sounds coming from the engines of some allied uh, enemy ground vehicles would sound as if they were closer and louder than the regular engine sound itself <laughs> jesus oh that would have been so annoying the Admiral Grafsby as well, the display of the ammunition amount of the main caliber AF stock has been fixed and the possibility of receiving and trading trophies with the user made camouflages as well as trading of keys for them for PlayStation 4 users in the Japanese region has been temporarily disabled. Maybe that's something to do with DMM going on. So those are the changes uh, that have happened to the game. 
over the last week or so. Obviously not a ton of them since, uh, you know, Operation Summer is happening. You don't want to screw with stuff too much uh, while uh, all of that stuff is going on. Make sure to pick up your decal. A little bit of an update on Operation Summer. I have got the um, gadget of giving me rentals for the first stage of all of the vehicles. I've tested them out. My initial impressions is the IKV is okay. The, uh, the, by the uh, float plane for Germany seems all right. You know, it's never going to be meta braking or anything, but it's a nice little plane. The Freccia is a little bit too high in BR. Um, and so, yeah, it's going to get donked on by stuff like destroyers. But the, the main thing is uh, after five days that I think we're on, I'm up 3 million SL. Uh, so we've hit 40 million again. Uh, I love these events for that. You know, you can easily make a sell uh, while playing the mid-tier stuff and not worrying too much about the grind. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. I'd like to thank Ambrosius McClellan, B. Young, Battling Bacon, Blackie, Chris Giltnane, Conte Baraka, Daniel Stanton, E. Love Goat, J. Wilt, Martinez, Trigger Hippie, Universe, Eugene's Terry, and also A. I'm Devilish and Samuel Slick for supporting the channel.